The True Love by David White There is a faith in loving fiercely the one who is rightfully yours. There is a faith in loving fiercely the one who is rightfully yours, especially if you have waited years, and especially if part of you never believed you could deserve this loved and beckoning hand held out to you this way. There is a faith in loving fiercely the one who is rightfully yours. Especially if you've waited years, and especially if part of you never believed you could deserve this loved and beckoning hand held out to you this way. I'm thinking of faith now, and the testament of loneliness, and what we feel we are worthy of in this world. Years ago in the Hebrides, I remember an old man who walked every morning on the grey stones to the shore of the baying seals, who would press his hat to his chest and say his prayer to the turbulent Jesus hidden in the water. And I think of the story of the storm, and everyone waking and seeing the distant yet familiar figure far across the water, calling to them, and how we're all preparing for that abrupt waking. I think of the story of the storm, and everyone waking and seeing the distant yet familiar figure far across the water, calling to them, and how we're all preparing for that abrupt waking and that calling in that moment we have to say yes. Except it will not come so grandly, so biblically, but more subtly and intimately in the face of the one you have to love. So that when we finally step out of the boat toward them, we find everything holds us and confirms our courage. So that when we finally step out of the boat toward them, we find everything holds us and confirms our courage. And if you wanted to drown, you could. If you wanted to drown, you could, but you don't. Because finally, after all the struggle and all the years you don't want to anymore, you simply had enough of drowning. And you want to live, and you want to love, and... You will walk across any territory and any darkness, however fluid and however dangerous, to take the one hand you know belongs in yours. Because finally, after all the struggle and all the years you don't want to anymore, you've simply had enough of drowning, and you want to live, and you want to love, and you will walk across any territory and any darkness however fluid and however dangerous, to take the one hand you know belongs in yours. To take the one hand you know belongs in yours. Poetry by David White Narrated by Mick Theobald